Hey, hey, segways. Today, I'll be visiting Kelsey Davis's channel for the first time. Before I start any video on a channel I've never watched before, I do a little bit of research to see what kind of people they are and if they're in fact trustworthy. Kelsey does seem like a nice enough person, but it didn't take me too long to find a huge red flag that triggered my Mackie and Amanda PTSD. First off, Kelsey claims to be a medium. So yeah, there's that. Oh, not this again. And I ended up finding an article about Kelsey making some pretty strange claims while at Disneyland. So yeah. While at Disneyland, Kelsey and her boyfriend rode the Pirates of the Caribbean ride and Kelsey says that she saw a ghost boy with pitch black eyes staring at her. She asked the ghost boy to leave and shortly after all this happened, the Pirates of the Caribbean ride broke down. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. The Pirates of the Caribbean ride would break down pretty much every single day, probably for a short period of time. For the ride to break down is not uncommon at all. So for Kelsey to say that this has anything to do with the paranormal is pretty stupid. I just really don't understand what it is about YouTube mediums and going to Disneyland. Casey is joined by Leslie Nolan, and where I said that Kelsey seemed like a nice enough person, unfortunately, I can't really say the same about Leslie, because what I ended up finding about her made her sound like an entitled bully. But what I'm about to tell you did all happen a few years ago, so hopefully by now she's learned her lesson and grown as a person. So a while back, Leslie wasn't shy about throwing around copyright strikes and even going as far as to tell her fans to mass report her critics. Lessie says that these critics were stealing her content, when of course these videos clearly fell under fair use. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Well, um, Lizzie Knowles did not like that video very much. She tweeted out, videos like these are just not okay. Please go report this, guys. Bullying from grown adults on my content? This is the reason people commit to it. <laughs> Losing no. Commit bleep. I want money. And get depressed. Should I copyright strike this man? Do you see how stupid this woman is? Okay. Thing. I think they're above criticism because um they have more sub. They have more sub I mean they are complete and utterly they cannot take criticism. They cannot they cannot be criticized because they have more sub. But then if we look at it from a legal standing, what she just said, should I copy strike this guy? See, I don't know if you know how copy striking works and how copyright works, but this man's video fell completely under fair use. He was taking small clips of it, just as much of what was needed, and then commentating over it and pointing out out flaws and making fun of it. That, that's how copyright works. She even gave a copyright strike and doubled down on this to a 12 year old boy. Just take a guess real quick, just take a little guess. How old do you think that kid is? And guess what? They got a copyright strike from them because, uh, yet again, she didn't like the video. Genuinely, she actually commented on this child's video. On this 13, I'd say, year old child's video saying, Cause you're bullying me, homie, and stole my video. Not cool, dude. Please stop. You're better than this. You're young and have so much potential. Yet again, that's not how copyright works. Copyright doesn't work as, I don't like the way you use this, even if it isn't fair use, so I'm going to take it down anyway. But like I said, this was all a few years ago, and I hope Lessie has learned from all of this that she cannot go around telling her fans to mass report a video just because she has a big following that will do what she asks. And also, I hope Lessie has learned what fair use is. Because there's a pretty good chance if Lessie does end up watching this video that she will not like what I have to say. And I really hope I can avoid getting another bullshit copyright strike from a fake ghost hunter. When my videos clearly fall under fair use as well. So with all that being said, please go watch Kelsey Davis's original video, give that a like and all that good stuff before you see what I have to say. For this week's vote, it was very close between Kelsey Kelsey Davis and Omar Gosh. The Patreon votes made this even closer, so I decided why not do both. Today I'll be watching Kelsey of course, and next week I'll be focusing on Omar Gosh TV. So a huge thank you as always goes out to all my members and patrons. If you want to get involved in my next vote, please consider becoming a member or a patron. The link is in the description. This extremely haunted home was built back in 1891. John Patterson and his family moved down here from Northern California and they were one of the first major landowners in this area. Visitors have claimed to see the full-bodied apparition of a man walking around the property, as well as the ghost of a young boy staring at them from the upstairs window. If you guys are new here, my name is Kelsey Davies. I am here with Lizzie Noel. Hi. 
Lessie has one of those annoying American mean girl cheerleader kind of voices that makes me wish I lived in the A Quiet Place universe. Yet again, we had to do another spooky mm -hmm. collab. We had to. Yes, there is a super creepy house that we're about to go into. You can probably see it behind me with the door leading to nowhere. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. Did Mr. Bean build this house? This house is apparently the oldest standing in the city. It's been around since the 1800s. I know I'm nitpicking here, but this is a small town, far from a city. There was a family that, that lived in here for a long time. It was a mom, a dad, and their children. Apparently the mom and the dad died in this house from natural causes. Right. So far, nothing dramatic or spooky here. Natural causes, obviously, are common. And dying in your own house in 1891 rather than a hospital would also be very common. An uncle apparently also might have died in the house and he has some bad energies, according to what the owner told me. He what doesn't he like do? blondes. No, he doesn't like natural blondes. You'll be just fine. He, he doesn't like blondes? Yeah, he doesn't, like blondes. doesn't like blondes. And he also admitted that he killed somebody if you want to keep this interesting maybe lead with him killing someone instead of his preference on hair color he's threatened to push people down the stairs inside you better and... be careful then because yeah. your girl ain't blonde but <laughs> but i am unfortunately yeah. <laughs> your brain isn't even connected to your mouth is it we just did a walk through and I saw the little boy. Um, I don't know if it's the same one that drowned, but I'm assuming maybe. He was just kind of shushing us the whole time because we were talking and he was getting kind of, I don't know, aggressive. He was like, shh. To be fair, after hearing Lissy talking for just one minute, I don't blame any ghosts for telling either of you to shh and then there was a man by the door. I started like coughing. I felt like very, um, a lot in my lungs and I felt like he died from maybe tubercul tuberculosis. Oh God, no. Am I reacting to another Amanda? Oh. Okay, I think this thing is just, I don't know why. Ooh. I'll pick up more, I'll pick up more. Okay, we need more information. Do we know how they died, like sickness? The owner of the house told me how they died, but I forgot. My guess is if Lissy is involved in any conversation that goes over your average TikTok length, she'll probably forget it. Here we go. Hello. Because my mind pit plays like tricks on me. Right. Especially when I'm like somewhere alone. I'm like on music. music. Music as I walk up to the to piano. The, oh my god, no way. Many things we misread as meaningful are quite ordinary coincidences. I feel like they want music, like they like music. Do you like good music? <laughs> I've never done this before. You've never yet. done this. Sorry, I... Wait, what did this say as you said that? Wait. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you guys like the music? No. Can you make a sound? No. Shy, we're not here to make fun of you. We're just here to, to talk to you and give you a voice. Play some music. Can we drop the music thing since you can't really play and the piano doesn't even work? I'm getting a name, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm getting like, it starts with a, like, maybe Jesse. That's not how a name starts. That's a name. Jessica or Jesse, something like that. Why do I feel like someone had a J name? Captain Hindsight, thank God you've come. I wonder if Jesse is like one of the people or maybe. If you're gonna give us a bullshit, vague, psychic, it starts with the letter J kind of thing, wouldn't you just go with John, since John Patterson built the house? You even said it at the very beginning of this video. John Patterson and his family moved down here from Northern California. After this investigation, I decided to do some research on the Patterson family, and it turns out Jesse was one of John and Maria's children. They had three daughters and one son. Unfortunately, Jesse died at the young age of 22 from appendicitis, and she is one of the spirits that the owner believes still resides in the home. Kelsey pretending she did no prior research before filming in this alleged haunted house is every bit as unbelievable as her psychic powers. 
have so much old stuff on display. It's so crazy. Yeah, so many old things are all over this place. Like an iPhone 8. Ew. And some CDs. Double ew. All my self-respect. I mean, like, hello. I think because the town became abandoned. <gasps> did you sniffle? No. Um, yes, she did. She clearly did. Look at that face. That's the face you pull when you do a big inhale through your nose. Lissy is almost pulling a comedically over-exaggerated sniff here. <laughs> Don't ever think I'm above a fart joke. Try it now. Try doing a really big inhale through your nose and see what kind of face you pull. These are the facial muscles you use when you do a big sniff. So as far as I'm concerned, Lissy has already been caught lying here. Why she wouldn't just come clean and say yes, that sniff was her when she is directly on camera makes absolutely no sense to me. It was like... No, that wasn't me. I'm pretty sure like we caught that because that was loud. You caught it all right. You caught the whole thing. You said there was like a poltergeist type thing in here. Someone that likes to what move things. That? Sorry, that wasn't you. Wait, what was it? It was like a weird... Someone that... And that... Did you make that noise? Did you make that noise? Maybe I made that noise? Did you make that noise? Wishing it through the screen? Did you make that noise? Please stop talking. Sit and talk. Sit, sit and, and talk. talk. Do they want us to sit and talk to them? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Since you've already claimed you saw a ghost earlier saying shh to you, and you think you heard another shh just a moment ago. All right, we're calling out to the spirits of the house. For fuck's sake. Anyway, they set up their REM pods and music boxes and all the other bullshit ghost hunting equipment that's been debunked more times than really haunted. Is that already going off? Was that you guys? If so, can you guys touch the REM pod? Whoa. Confirm? I feel like it's a little kid. A little kid? Yeah. No way. Thank you. Thank you for showing you guys are here with us. It's crazy. <laughs> Which one of you idiots wrote this script? Benedict. Benedict? What does that mean? Like eggs Benedict? I like eggs Benedict. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want us to make some food? <laughs> I didn't even add this music in, so they must be somewhat self-aware on how dumb all this is. Which, to be fair, already makes them better than Mackie and Amanda. Which is almost a compliment. Do you like food too? Yeah? Wow. You want some pancakes? I... pan... what? Pancakes? It's a ghost! How's it gonna eat anything? Or is it just that eggs benedict because same? <laughs> <laughs> that one goes hard. I can make you some french toast. Is that the kitchen? That is the kitchen. I'm gonna pretend I'm making food to see if it like triggers anything. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like, honey? <laughs> this is some pretty dumb shit right here. Hey, I'm in the kitchen. What would you like me to make? Make? You're a girl boss who doesn't need to be in the kitchen for any man or ghost. Side Eye Guy regularly updates his jokes for a progressive 2024 audience and to never lower himself to say anything that could be considered potentially problematic or even funny. All right, so we just set up a bunch of equipment around us and then as we're doing that, the spirit talker goes, sit. sit. <laughs> yeah, just like, sit down, Kelsey. Like, okay, I'm sorry. Like, enough equipment they go. They I'm just want to have dinner with you. <laughs> <laughs> or dinner for breakfast. Honestly, that's a move. Dinner oh. for breakfast, they agree. Oh! How did that, like, fall? What was that? My guess is, whatever Lessie was messing around with just off camera, fell over. Who cares? I feel like that kitty chaotic energy. Really? Yeah. Like, bossy. Sit down and eat. Yeah. Play with me. And... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. E.T. Phone home. <gasps> my other light died. No, they're like drained. My REM pod, my other one is completely drained too. Did you guys drain my lights? I only have two lights left now. I feel my life force draining from my body. Anyway, this spirit box nonsense goes on for way too long. And I'm going to skip most of it because I'm hating every second of it. Do you guys mess with blondes? 
said something about blondes. It totally said something about blondes. Why do you guys like blondes? They're hot? <laughs> Sorry, but I heard them say they're hot. Me. 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 <laughs> I swear to I God, mean, you're not video. wrong. You're not wrong. Even with all this cringy self-indulgence, they're still not as bad as Mackie and Amanda, which is almost a compliment. There's a lot of condensed energy in this house. Does it make you guys feel happy to have people come and visit your house? Yes? Lessie actually looks like a ghost here. Guys... I'm really here. I'm really here. I know. That's why I'm trying to connect with you. Are you hearing yourself? Will this allow you to speak clearly? Because I'm having One a hard light. time connecting. One light. We have two lights. Kelsey's original video is only 35 minutes long, but these two have made it feel like your average paranormal files duration. Yeah, this chair rocks as well, and then there's like a whole train set, there's a rocking horse, that ship up there earlier was like moving. And all these books too, there's just... Oh, I guess these are original as well. Yeah, those are original writings from the kids' preschool class. Okay, I don't know why this is still- <gasps> And of course, there's an unnecessary cut right before the cradle starts rocking. So much happening right There's now. so much happening all at once. I like briefly touched that, but I went downstairs. Is that me still? I don't even think that was you. Oh, oh that's not know. you. That's like the cradle rocking. No way. What? It's rocking. I barely touched that and that was a while ago. That's There's like no way rocking. that's me. No, that's not you. It's literally just the cradle at this point. What the heck? That would have like stopped because I barely touched that. I went downstairs, grabbed all my yeah, stuff. It's still going. You think it would be done by now, but no. I counted six cuts in that 35 second clip where Kelsey and Lessie are going on about the cradle rocking. Six Cuts in 35 seconds. Are they pushing it and editing it out? I have no idea. But when you have this many unnecessary cuts in such a short space of time, it doesn't look great for credibility. Okay, guys, we were just taking photos for like the thumbnail, and I was going through them, and one of them, it ha it's so weird. I did the same lighting, I didn't change anything, and I took one photo, and then the next, and then there's like this. It's just this big blob of darkness that shows up. What did I just catch? I literally caught the shadow man Stop in a right thumbnail now. photo. I didn't even mean to. No. I'm surrounded by idiots. Could it have been your own shadow or Lessie's? No. Must have been <sighs> the shadow man. But was it the shadow man or was it the Grim Reaper? Yeah, I know. I know. I know there's a few of you just wanted me to do that. So Grim Reaper. Cool I look. <laughs> I look so cool. Power Ranger. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, I'm asking the spirits of this house if you're able to. <gasps> Something's coming through. What the hell is this? No way. Hello. What is that? What? What is it? I can't tell what this is. It looks like. It oh, almost looks like blood. I've not seen anything like this before in a ghost hunting video. I actually don't have a clue what it's trying to prove in terms of paranormal activity. They're making the REM pods red right now too. Really? Yeah. Does it feel good? I don't know how to feel about it. Oh, is this going to be some kind of bullshit psychic power enhancement tool? I'm so confused by this. Neither of them actually explain what this thing is or what it's supposed to do. So yeah, great job there, ladies. Oh, yeah, something came through. Red. Yes. And you guys... Oh my god, I got chills. I'm seeing knives. Wait, is nice. that a knife? No? It was sharp, and now it looks like a key, a key. or like a pocket knife, and it's three of them, or it, it looks so strange, like they had a pointy end. I hate every single last one of you who voted for Kelsey, but mostly 
I hate myself for making her an option in my fucking vote in the first fucking place. Alright, we are going to try the Estes method. I can't take it anymore! I just wanna die! Hello, spirits. I'm wondering... Are there children? And her hands are over each of the ears so she can lift the headphones away from her ears. That's an old trick. There's more than... What is there more than? Bullet. Did you do something with a bullet to somebody? Demon. Ooh. You know, we're, you're not allowed to come close to us if you're a demon. Where did demons come from? Can I get through just one of these bullshit ghost hunting videos without them shoehorning in a demon? Anyway, Kelsey and Lessie swap over, so Lessie is the one with the headphones on, and Lessie really starts taking the piss with her responses during this Esther session. But what am I saying? Of course it's all real because they both come across as so trustworthy. Excuse me, is this sarcasm 101? Kelsey, here, move. Where do you want me to move? Am I in your way? No. Who was the red light that I saw? Lena, you tried to kill me. Well, who tried to kill you? And who did I just see in the hallway? I feel like something just like touched my side, so I <laughs> opened my eyes. Ew. Moving along, I felt something here. I touched Lizzie. I think I've heard enough. So it goes on like this for another three or four minutes, and I'm honest to God over it. This was a complete waste of time, but I am thankful Kelsey's video was only 35 minutes long. I hope you guys got a laugh out of it, because it left me wanting to reach for a bottle of whiskey. So please like and subscribe. Cheerio! Cheerio!